All right, so I've brought the beast out into the wild here uh, to do some testing. And I'll just go through a few things that I've done uh, to get it to the point where I feel I can start playing around with it. Uh, first off, I have done some reinforcements on the front here. You can see I have this brace here. It's going to stop it torquing this way with the cross piece. All of this is quarter inch thick uh, tube. So I'm pretty happy with that. I think it's adequate. Uh, I didn't put cones on the front here yet or anything like that because I've actually acquired two large 100 pound propane tanks and I think I'm going to make some new pods. They're about 16 inches in diameter instead of 8. Should give me some better flotation. So I'm going to leave that for now and just kind of play with it as it is try testing the uh, drive train out. Uh, I've got the fenders on, I've got the seat on. You can see I've put these uh, handles for the controls. So that's all kind of taken care of. This is all bolted on. I did end up having to cut this one fender to fit around this brake caliper, but uh, you can see I've done lots of reinforcement on the back here. Uh, the only thing I could really think of to stop this from twisting in was this big uh, plate around here, which I had to curve around the caliper. So that's helping it pull this way. And then I also put a uh, receiver hitch on with a pintle so I can start using that for pulling. That's all reinforced in here, and this all obviously as well ties all this together from pulling. I did also put a spring-loaded chain tensioner on this side, so which is adjustable there. It's just pivoting on a bolt there. Um, another thing I did is I did also taper the ends of the fins so they're not just 90 degrees anymore, uh, just so it doesn't get hooked up on a rock or anything. So, uh, yeah, I'm just trying to think. I think that's pretty much it. Kind of give you a look of it here, but I'll do some testing here right away with it. It's a really wet weekend out here, really rainy, so we'll see how it performs in this muck. Oh, I also mounted this bison, this sweet Manitoba hood ornament. This is kind of a project I've been working on for uh, a few years now as I'm digging this huge hole uh, for no apparent reason. You can see it's full of water right now. It's probably about four or five feet of water deep there. And I've been mining it out with my uh, little excavator but uh, since the big rain it's full, right full, I'm going to have to pump it out again. Uh, but I think I'm going to attempt to drive the screw machine through the uh, muck here. Maybe go through this wet stuff and try and make it up the other side as a kind of first test of what it's going to do as far as inclines. And that stuff is probably a foot deep of muck. So hopefully I don't end up just getting stuck right there. But uh, like I said, the screws aren't perfect because I don't have a cone on the front that's very good right now. So hopefully it doesn't just plow in too much, but uh, we'll see what happens.
Well, it's screwed. I'll show you what happened. I don't know if you can see it on the video here, but it actually broke the transmission. There's a huge crack there on the axle shaft. And it actually bent this axle shaft. You can see how the disc is no longer even near the brake pads or anything. It, the torque of going through that mud bent the axle and it blew the transmission. So, holy fuck. Uh, basically, I'm screwed. extracted it from the uh, mud pit and the damage is pretty severe. Uh, the more I look, the more I see what's happened here, so I'll just show you. Uh, the, the shaft, the, the actual axle shaft from the tractor is bent. It's cracked the case. I don't know if you can see it, it's getting dark out and stormy today, but the case on the uh, axle shaft is broken. It also bent the jack shaft on this side and uh, bent the uh, gear on this pod as well so basically catastrophic failure again um, I don't really know where to go with it now so I think it was uh, it was a fun project but I'm not sure if it's gonna make it you know it's, it's just so much torque on those pods that I I don't think uh, I don't think I have the strong enough gear here to turn them really. Even if I did replace the transmission now, I don't feel confident with that setup because basically all I was doing is driving up a, you know, it was a bit of a slope, but it wasn't a crazy grade or anything. So I don't know, this might be, uh, might be the end of this one. I don't know, unless I come up with something else in the near future, but uh, it sure looks interesting. <laughs>